The subject of this video is how to connect the TMP37 centigrade temperature sensor to an Arduino. This is a three pin, very simple to connect device costing I think around a dollar that has according to my test been very accurate. It does not require any libraries or special digital coding or anything. It's a straight analog to digital read off of one of your Arduino analog to digital converter ports. If you look at the picture at the top, it shows a bottom view of it, three connections, pin one is five volts, pin two is output, pin three is ground. Your output would go to your, say, analog to digital converter zero, and you simply read the value. We'll take a closer look at the uh, characteristics of this device and I'll show you what you have to do with your Arduino coding. A final word before we move on, be sure to connect a 0.1 microfarad capacitor between pin 1, that's the 5 volts, and pin 3, ground. This will help assure stable operation and keep noise off the device. The electrical specifications of the TMP37 is that it runs from a range of 5 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius and will work up to 150 degrees Celsius with less accuracy. It produces a 500 millivolt output at 25 degrees C. In my test, I used a stable 5 volt power supply, and because, again, as I mentioned, the analog to digital converter port on the Arduino, you have to have a good regulated 5 volts for it to work properly. About the program, an analog to digital converter in the Arduino is a 10 bit value, that is 1024 steps over a range of 5 volts, which is 5 divided by 1024 equals 4.882 millivolts per step. The TMP37 produces an output of 20 millivolts per degree. So you can have 4 steps per degree of output on the uh, Arduino um, analog to digital converter if you're within a certain temperature range, which more than covers anything that we humans can inhabit. Uh, I wouldn't use it in boiling water, for example, but any normal temperature reading, such as maybe you want to control the fans in a greenhouse or something like that. Um, let's look at the Arduino code. In this program, I decided to use the uh, Arduino Liquid Crystal, that is LCD library. Um, this really has nothing to do with the sensor as such. Uh, you can always read the output on your uh, serial monitor or any other way that you want to display temperatures with this device. The real deal is down here in loop. Again, you can set this up to display it however you want to. Here is loop. Okay, I declared an integer value sensor value. All I'm doing is an analog read. Uh, this is assuming that you might have waited um, 200 milliseconds or so to uh, allow the device to calculate its value. Okay, so we end up with an integer value called sensor value. Now I'm going to take that sensor value and multiply that by my uh, 4.88 whatever it was millivolts that is times 5 divided by 1024 so I've taken the volts so I've taken this value as a float now um, and uh, based on the steps in the Arduino analog to digital converter. All I have to do now is divide by 0 0.02, use the calculation from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, and display the temperature in Fahrenheit. 
delay 200 milliseconds and do it again. That's all it is. You just read the uh, analog digital converter, cup two calculations. You can choose whether to display it as Celsius or Fahrenheit, and you're done. That's it. Again, no big digital libraries or anything complicated to fool with. So that completes this in brief introduction to the TMP37. They're, like I said, they're about a buck. They work well, and thanks for listening to the video. I hope you found this useful.